How one of America's biggest retailers methodically turns casual shoppers into fanatics. What Costco has done, by the way. What Costco has done is, 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 is quite impressive because they've turned Americans into monsters. Um, and I remember like when everybody from my neighborhood first started to get their Costco cards and they're, you know, we have something called BJ's and there's, there's different variations of Costco. But I remember that everybody started to get their Costco cards and then you would go with them. And it was a big day. Going to Costco is like a big day. I remember my mother, her friend, my would like lend my mother her card or something, and then we would go to Costco, and it would be a big day because you can get items in bulk. You can have everything, and you you keep it in your house, and and you and it's exciting to have food forever, and know that you don't have to go shopping again. You have all of the food. And when you have more, you consume more, of course. When you have more, you eat more. If you have a bucket of something, it disappears. Right? You don't portion it out. It's not rational. They know this. They know at Costco that people are not. It's America. They go, if we give people a bucket, they're going to eat it. And they're going to come in and get another bucket. And make no mistake, you get buckets if you showed Costco to somebody in Europe, they would they would vomit. We buy industrial size, uh, industrial size buckets of like cleaning solution, but it's ketchup, or it's mayonnaise, or it's barbecue sauce. the The size of some of the Costco products show some of the bigger, some of the biggest Costco products. It's truly grotesque. And when I was in Europe with Sam Talent, we were over there performing. And none of this exists. None of these exist in Europe. You cannot go to a store and get three months worth of chocolate covered pretzels. You're not, you're not permitted. I think we got to stop allowing certain things. And this is kind of one of the things, unfortunately, that I think we're going to have to stop allowing. I think, I think this is probably. And this is where my libertarian streak, uh, you know, it, it, it hits a little bit of the wall because I do think that in the food space, um, like, for example, I think we're going to look back on this. You remember subprime mortgages? I do. And they were all adjustable rate mortgages. You would take a mortgage and then a few years later, the rate that you had would quadruple. It would double, triple, quadruple and then you could no longer pay the mortgage. We all look back on that. And we go, why the fuck would we give someone a mortgage that was cheap for two years and then wildly more expensive just 24 months later? These people's lives aren't changing. It's not like in 24 months they've all made lots more money. Why would we do that? And the reason that we did it was greed. And look at that. Costco selling massive bag of popcorn. Look at this. This is not okay. I think we're going to look back on this and, and, and say this is not okay, that we let the companies not only poison the food. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Go to that cart that that woman has a child sitting on that. Now, yes, there's a lot of water here and to tide and detergent and like it's the you know, there's a lot of water and stuff. But there's also gonna be a lot of food on there. That's she's just warming up. People have like these this is all industrial. If you go to Costco, it's like a big factory, it's a warehouse. And you're pushing large cans of 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 uh, poison in a cart. And then you you have to load up your car and then you go feed your family. I don't think the and it, you know it marries a lot of the trends in America. Like a lot of people are preppers. A lot of people are preparing, and maybe they're not even stupid, who knows? They're preppers. They're preparing for a time when they they cannot get food. This was big during the pandemic. People started to really panic and then people would stock up. Even me, I said, I don't stock up on anything. I eat out a lot. I just, you know. I, I usually don't freak out. I don't think that, like, you know, we're not going to be able to get, like, you know, Kraft mac and cheese. 
but people were like stocking up during the pandemic on everything. And that's always kind of been a theme of America is that people use the perhaps legitimate fear of some cataclysm as a reason to have so much food and hoard and hoard food in their homes and have closets full of food, pantries full of food, eight, 10, 12, 15 things of breadcrumbs, 20 breadcrumbs things. You could fill a, a kiddie pool with breadcrumbs and just, f-ing, you know, coat chicken cutlets in it for hours and hours. And it's just, I think we're going to look back on it. I think we're going to go, this was a major mistake. I think we'll look back on this and I think we're going to go, this is disgusting. And this is a major turning point. Going to a warehouse to feed your family was a turning point in our culture, and it was not a good one. Walking into an industrial warehouse and buying tubs of things, barrels of things, rolling things onto a cart, putting so much stuff on a cart you can barely see your child. It's not good. This was not a good turning point. Creating a fun environment in that warehouse where they had like food, you eat, you eat, and you shop. The Costco had that little thing you would buy food at that people really liked. The chicken bake. There was a few things in there that were fun. They had frozen yogurt. And you would eat there. It was a whole day. Getting food was a whole day. And you would need to eat literally... Kirkland, yeah, Kirkland, signature brand, everything. You would need to eat to have the energy to then shop for two hours because a trip to Costco would be two or three hours. And they would tell you that. Your mother would tell you that. you go, don't whine. This is going to be three hours. And it would be three hours of going around Costco, which was always air-conditioned to a point where it was frozen. Because they like to keep the fatty boom bat is comfortable. It's comfortable to be, it's a nice, cool, you never want to leave. If you're in a nice, cold environment and you're a fatty boom bat, you're, you don't want to leave. It's comfortable. The minute you start sweating, you're out. So they kept it like sub zero. It felt like you were walking around the freezer and you got everything. And I just think we got to turn on this. This has got to be, this is not good. Someone has to articulate, probably better than me, why it should be shameful and embarrassing to be a member of this. It should be shameful, embarrassing to be a member of this. This is not how you should shop. This is not how you should feed your family. I'm sorry. Everyone now on Instagram, they make these videos All these like blue collar working class people are making food videos now with all this poison food because they're like, why should the rich people have all the fun making food? I'm going to show you how to make buffalo chicken pudding. There's a woman on there and I'm not going to bring her up. And I do like her, but she's like, she does these tutorials where she's like, today I'm making pizza cake. So what? It's cake and pizza, and my kids like it. She doesn't ever feed the kids vegetables. She makes the worst food for the kids over and over again. There's this other woman, and I don't know what people get out of watching her. She does like, she's like, watch a working class woman make her husband's lunch. And she makes him like, like just adult like lunchables with like all processed food. And it's the most disgusting thing you've ever watched. I, 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 listen, I'm, I'm saying, I think with the Ozempic stuff, maybe this is a turning point. Maybe we are about to turn on this. They certainly feel like all of these drugs are starting to be very effective. People are starting to eat a lot less. A lot of these companies are flipping out. They don't know what to do. Uh, 
all of the 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 the, the people that make Ozempic and Wagovi and all those they're 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 now I think the most like they're the biggest they have the biggest market cap of any European company. Um, I forget the name of the company that makes Ozempic, but Nova or something something else. It's made by Novo Nordisk. Yes, Novo Nordics, Nordisk, a brand of yeah. Is the maker of Wagovi. It's Europe's most valuable company, worth more than five hundred billion euros. This is the beginning of a big turning point, and what I believe, if this is all correct, this is the beginning. We're gonna start turning on these food warehouses. Fast food. I think it's going to, this could reshape America. It could totally change. I'll be dead. Everyone I know will be dead. Maybe not. Maybe not. But I'll tell you this. I think this could be such a major disruptive, or just like the, the porn, if, say that tribe in the Amazon, you might see a, a, a time, because nobody takes a Zempic and goes, let's go to Costco. There's no way. If Ozempic does anything, you should not be able to walk through a Costco. And I haven't done it yet. I'm waiting to see if these uh, celebrities croak. As Stavros said to me in the green room of, uh, he goes, let's wait and see if Mindy Kaling drops. Uh, Mindy Kaling. But here's what Ozempic should do if it does anything. If you walk into a Costco, you should have the reaction of that girl from The Exorcist. Your head should spin off your shoulders. You should start projectile vomiting. If Ozempic does anything, when you walk into Costco, you should just start, it should be like the exorcist because you should be disgusted by this. Food that could fall and kill you. There's so much of it. It could fall off a f***ing shelf and kill you. That should make you heave on Ozempic. You should be disgusted. We'll go V... Munjaro, whatever. You should walk through Costco, and I mean, it's like me, 14 years sober, going through San Fran, watching people lay on the street with needles out of their arms. That is what Ozempic should make you feel like in Costco. And the and the article is the cult of Costco, right? And it is a cult. Yeah, the cult of Costco. It is. Go down here for a minute. Let's see. Sensory overload starts the second you enter the airplane hangar size store. The place is packed with people. And do I smell hot dog water? Yes, you do. The shopping floor is a bewildering jumble of merchandise, much of it stacked high above your head, still in cardboard boxes. There are virtually no signs to tell you what's where. You eventually realize that the stuff you came to buy is, of course, all the way in the back. I hope these become museums. I really do. I hope we look back at this and these become museums. You know, we do move on from stuff. There used to be bars everywhere, littered. This country was littered with bars where people would sit and smoke cigarettes. They were on every corner, and now they're not there as much. They're almost gone. They're almost gone because Americans simply just decided that they didn't want to live like that. And I'm not saying that that was the right decision either, considering what they're doing now, but you can look at these stores and eventually see a time in the not-so-distant future when they don't exist, when they don't exist, when people are like, you know what, I'm not going to buy, I'm not getting uh, an app. My mother once got an appetizer box. with The count was 300 hors d'oeuvres in the box at Costco. There was was 80 potato puffs. They told you what they had. It was like 80 potato puffs, 80 you know, whatever turnover, whatever these things are, 80 pigs in a blanket. For New Year's, we didn't throw any party. You know, it's 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 too much. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And I think that maybe this these Ozempic drugs change, and everyone's like, well, isn't that the easy way out? America's the easy way out, dummy.